Good morning, Kentucky, and welcome back. It's now 640. A man who has two wives who don't know that the other exists is just asking for trouble, right? Well, it's actually a funny scenario in the studio players latest production called Run for Your Wife. And joining us this morning is director Ross Carter. Ross, thank you for being on the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, you're telling me just how funny this play is. It makes me want to see it just because you said that people are walking out in their sides. They say their sides are hurting because they've laughed so hard during the production. That's right. Uh, the the measure of the truly funny play, in my mind, is when people come out of the theater and say, that's the funniest thing I ever saw, uh -huh. and when they say, my sides are hurting from laughing so much. <laughs> and every night I hear both those comments from people as they leave the theater. Now this is a British farce, and it sounds like it might be a tragedy because this guy, <laughs> you know, kind of leading a double life, he has two wives, they don't know the other exists, but then he comes into a situation where there's a chance they might find out about each other. That's right. Uh, any farce begins with, at its core, has something that must be concealed. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's the fact that uh, this taxi driver has two wives. Uh, that it, it isn't as, as harsh a situation as you might think because mm -hmm. uh, he, he truly loves both wives. Mm -hmm. I mean, most people, most of us are lucky if we find one <laughs> life partner. Uh -huh. But what if you find two at the same time and mm. they both ask you to marry them and you don't have the heart to say no to either yeah, of them? Right. So that's, kind of a problem there. <laughs> that's the situation he gets in. Then uh, he gets involved in an incident and has his picture in the newspaper mm -hmm. with uh, one of his wives. Well, he can't let the other wife see oh, that. Oh gosh, no. And so then police get involved and neighbors get involved and the lies get bigger and bigger and the situation more complicated. Well, what, what do people need to do if they want to get tickets? I know it's going on now through June 6th. Mm -hmm. That's right. We've got uh, two more weekends. Mm -hmm. uh, this coming weekend is already sold out. Wow, okay. So we have only three shows left. That's June 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay. Uh, we have some tickets available, mm -hmm. uh, and people can get tickets by going to the Studio Players website. That's studioplayers.org. Okay. or calling the Downtown Arts Center at 252-0370. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Ross, as you said, you don't know anyone, and I don't know anyone who doesn't like to laugh, so you should definitely want to check this out. Everybody Have a good time. loves to laugh, yes. and the more people around you laughing, the more fun it is. Contagious. Right. Okay, well, Ross, thanks for being on the show this Thank morning. Thank you. Well, the weather is nothing to laugh about because it's going to be really nice pretty much all week, and Mary will tell us about that up next. Stay with us.